Listen, sweetheart, you were forced to leave. You were forced to leave that dynamic. You were forced to leave that relationship. You were forced to leave those family members. You were forced to leave that situation. You were forced to leave that friendship. It was no longer an option for you. You had to choose you. You had to move on. You had to do what was best for you and yours. You were forced to leave. And some of you are going back and forth in your minds right now. One day you're feeling like you want to reach out to these people. The next day you're feeling like, I'm good. I don't need nobody. The other day is you're going through your woes. Can I tell you something about that? That is okay. That is perfectly fine that you're feeling like that. It's called healing. Every day won't be a good day. You're allowing yourself to process these emotions that you're feeling and you're healing from this. You are healing from this. Those of you that are beating yourself up about this, listen to me. It's time for you to surrender to what is. If y'all notice in the title, I said they forced you to leave, but I also put now it's time for you to remain solid. Some of us don't realize remaining solid can simply mean releasing, surrendering to what is because you can't do nothing about it. You've done all you can do. You were forced now to leave. You were forced now to choose you. And it's okay for you to process your emotions. Emotions. Don't let anybody tell you how you should feel about your life, about what's going on around you. Y'all listen, this is coming up right now because I believe God is wanting to open up this platform, open up, you know, the comments for you all to just express. Sometimes because we walk this path, what feels like alone, we don't have anybody to really let these things out, to talk to to show up and be like, this is what I'm feeling and not be judged by it. So in this message right here, y'all, it's a message of healing. It's a message to let you know to keep going. It's a message to let you know, I see you. You're heard. I feel you. You're not the only one that's going through it. But you, sweetheart, have been forced to leave. And maybe it's a temporary leave, but right now you gotta do what's best for you, your mental stability. So y'all listen, before we get into this message, please know I appreciate each and every single one of y'all. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Thank you to those of you that are new to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Um, over here is all gas, no brakes. We're putting our foot on the enemy's neck and we're not letting up. Y'all, for those of you that are new, please know I love God to the core. I feel like I'm in love with God. I'm not perfect. I don't push perfection. I push obedience and relationship. Everything else, that's up to you and God. Please don't look at me. Don't look at any other platform and, and put anybody on a pedestal, y'all. We're all the same. We all bleed. We all poop. And listen, I'm no better than you. I push the agenda again, y'all, of obedience, not perfection. And we're going to put our foot on the enemy's neck and lock that up because that's what's been keeping us stagnant, keeping us down, keeping us depressed, keeping us in the pit. And that's up. That is up. That's over with. That's over with, y'all. So just so you know, those of you that are new to the channel, that's what it's about over here. Period. Those of you that are returning, y'all already know. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for continuing to rock with me. Thank you for showing up every time I post. Thank you for your PayPals, your cash apps, your super thanks, um, your comments, your shares, your likes. All of it is appreciated. Whether you're old or you're new, I love you all so much. Thank y'all for rocking with me. So now... For those of you that are new, I am reading from some index cards. I write on these cards before I get online. And I just allow God to speak to me and through me regarding your situation. So let's start with the first one. Matthew eleven twenty-eight. 28. And again, y'all, this is just to show you all, to show up for you all, to love on you all. You know, not to trigger anybody, but just to let you know you're not alone. So Matthew eleven twenty-eight 28 says, come to me. All you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Let's read it again. Matthew eleven twenty-eight. 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Sweetheart, it's time for you to rest in what is. 
It's time for you to rest in what God has allowed. It's time for you to rest knowing that you've made the right choice, at least for now. It's time for you to rest and allow these individuals to come to you. Stop overextending. Stop apologizing. Stop being the one to try to reconcile all the time. It's time for you to rest in God. These individuals forced you to leave. And we're not talking about the people, y'all. We're just ex we're exposing the fact that this is what it is. This is a healing message for you. A healing message for you. So let's go to the first one. Your efforts in love were oftentimes received, but rarely or barely reciprocated. Y'all, we're talking about the fact that you had to leave because, again, some of you are going back and forth and you're beating yourself up about what is. You can't change that. You can't change that. So, again, this this video is to open up the platform in the comments for us to just support one another, y'all, to let you know that you're not alone. So, again, your efforts in love were oftentimes received, but rarely or barely reciprocated breadcrumb in other words no matter how much you showed up no matter how much you gave the love no matter how much you gave you know your last it just was never seen like reciprocated to you and y'all were talking about friendships relationships this could be any kind of dynamic because for some reason as chosen ones they feel like that we just give 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 and because we continue to show up because we're so strong because we're so loving because we're so patient people feel like we don't need that back because God has given us those things and has strengthened us even from a child people don't realize that we want to feel that love too we want to feel you know the attention too we want to be seen and heard too but because you're so strong, because you continue to overextend, because you continue to show up, people feel like they can continue to treat you a certain way. You give and give and give and yet they give you nothing. But can I suggest to you also that some of these people don't know how to give to you. The more you elevate, the more you heal, the more you show up, the more you, you know, God continues to build you up. Some of these people literally do not know how to show up for you in this season. And even before you knew you were chosen or awakened, you've always had a pure heart. You've never been on that devil energy. Yes, you may have been walking in darkness. No, you're not perfect. Yes, you've done some things that may have hurt other people. And y'all, we all have to be accountable for the things that we've said and done. Again, none of us are perfect. None of us. But your intentions were pure. Your heart is pure. So even before you awaken, even before you knew you were chosen, you still showed love. You still overextended. You still wanted everybody to eat. You still wanted everybody to feel loved. And so that's what you gave. And sometimes people get it confused. They think you're weak. Or they feel like you're so strong that you don't need that. You don't need that reciprocation. You don't need that love because you keep showing up for them. But now you've released yourself. Now you said, I don't have it no more to give. They forced you to leave. Forced you to leave. And some of you, God called you to leave. God told you to close that door. Again, it could be temporary. But for now, God has said, close the door. These individuals need to heal. They need to go through their own process. They need to learn their own lessons. And then if you all do come back together, they will come back in a different kind of environment and energy. And y'all can build from there. But right now, honey, you had to leave. You had to have that separation. Again, it doesn't mean that it's final. But for some of you, it is. But that's why I'm going back to being solid, y'all. And being solid just simply means releasing, surrendering to what is. Surrendering, y'all. You don't know what the outcome is, so you have to surrender to what is right now. And it's okay for you to be frustrated. It's okay for you to be hurting. It's okay for you to be angry. Those things are okay. Just don't stay there. Don't make a bed there. Feel what you feel and let the healing begin. Keep pushing, keep moving, keep showing up. Let's go to the next one. You believed in the connection and they sabotaged it. 
you believed in the connection, you believed in the friendship, you believed in the relationship, you believed in the marriage, you believed in whatever it is that you were in, you believed in it, but these individuals sabotaged it. Some of them didn't even feel worthy of what you were offering. Sometimes y'all, we get it, we get, we let the illusions kind of get us all mixed up and wrapped up, y'all. And, and I say we because I'm no different. I'm no different. We learn from our experiences. That's how we gain the wisdom. That's how we gain the strength. That's how we continue to move forward. We learn from these things. But you, sweetheart, <clears throat> you have given, 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 given. And these individuals, they don't feel worthy. They don't. They do not feel worthy of what you are offering them, your love, your time, your attention. And that's why God may have disconnected you all because they have to build themselves up. They have to allow God to break down all these things that they've experienced and allow him to do the work within them so that they can give you what you're asking for. They don't have it to give. They don't, y'all. These individuals don't have it to give. And I don't care if y'all been married for years. Again, you may have been in this in an illusion. You were tolerating these individuals. You may have fallen out of love a long time ago. But yet y'all stay connected. You tried to build on something that God is saying, I told you to let go. And you keep showing up, overextending, overdoing. And now you've been forced to let it go. You've been forced to to leave y'all again this is not to trigger this is a healing message receive it in love because i saw the last comment y'all and when i tell y'all my heart ached because all of us all of us that are connected here we know what time it is we know what we're offering we know that the headline of what we have and what we give is love and that covers a multitude of things we're living in a world now where people are fake People are fake. They don't know what it feels like, what it looks like to genuinely be loved with no strings attached. Not looking for anything. You just want to be loved back. You just want to be seen. That's it. That's all. But now we're living in so much darkness in a society, sweetheart, where the hate is real and the love is fake. The hate is real and the love is fake. So when you enter into people's lives, when you show up with that genuineness, when you show up with that cup of love, everybody can receive that. They don't feel worthy of that. And let me tell you something else, y'all. Those of you that have these divine connections that you know God has called you to, when you are called to these people, it's, it's beyond just the romantic side of things, y'all. It's for you to mirror to these individuals what they need to work on and vice versa. Both of you are supposed to be showing unconditional love to one another. That's what it's all about. And the moment you wake up and you feel like, wait, I'm worthy to be loved. I know better. Why am I still connected to this? That's when you have awakened. That's when you've learned your lesson. That's when God is like, okay, that's it. That's all. Now you have to move out of the way so these individuals can do the same thing. You can't keep dragging them along and trying to show them and teach them and help them and make them feel like they're worthy because you are sabotaging yourself. You are hurting yourself and you have to let it go so that they can learn, so that they can grow, so that they can go through the process. It's like a mirroring effect. But some of these individuals, they weren't ready. And maybe they are now, but they have to go through this process alone. You can't keep dragging them alone. You had to disconnect. You had to let them go so that they can do that. As long as you're in the way, you you know, you you holding up the process. You're holding up the process because you have the anointing on you. You have the favor on you. God has chosen you. So wherever you go, you always going to be protected. And if you're in a friendship, in a relationship, on the job, wherever you are, that thing is going to thrive because you're there. And so when God is ready to bring in his wrath or God is ready to teach some lessons, if you don't let go and allow him to do that, first of all, you're going to be put in the crossfire too. But secondly, you're holding up the process of it for these individuals to go through their process because God is trying to protect you. That's a whole mouthful right there. I know it ain't nobody but God speaking. Again, y'all, 
You believed in the connection and they sabotaged it. Let's go to the next one. You were being wounded as you were healing them. I just talked about that. You were being wounded as you were healing them. You kept showing up. You kept loving them. You kept trying to tell them this is what it should be, how it should go. And in the midst of that, you were being wounded. You were being wounded. You were being wounded. Listen, y'all, your energy sometimes is overwhelming. Who you are, how you carry yourself, how you show up can sometimes be overwhelming. And that's why people feel intimidated. That's why they don't know if they like you, they don't like you. That's why they don't know all these things because it's confusing to them. You're a mystery to them. They feel drawn to you, but yet when they get close, they feel scared. They feel intimidated. They feel they're going to get so consumed and wrapped up in you that sometimes they run. That's where that runner-chaser dynamic come from, y'all. Those of you that know, you know. Those of you that know what I'm talking about, you know. These individuals get so consumed in their emotions and they don't want to. And so they run and they ghost you and they leave you. They have to do the inner work to know that they're worthy to receive what it is you're offering them. You were forced to leave so that they can do that. So that they can heal. So that they can know who they are. Some of them may have been connected to other people. They had to go through that, y'all. They had to experience what it looked like on the other side of the grass. It's not as green as over there what you offering. It's brown over there. They realize that now. They realize that now. They're doing more watering over there. When you was trying to water them, they went somewhere else. And now they're giving up. They dry. They tired. They sick and tired of what they've been going through. They sick and tired of being the one showing up. They sick and tired of the one, you know, being the, the good friend. When you were there the whole time. But now you were forced to leave. You were forced to let go. And again, y'all, this doesn't mean it's a final thing. It just means right now you got to do what's best for you and yours. The days of you overextending, the days of you giving up, you know, your peace, your happiness for everybody else is over. And it don't feel good sometimes because you love these people. You want to see them do better. You might be in love with them. Whatever it is, you want these individuals to do better, be better. You want to be with them. You want them in your life. But you cannot allow yourself to be wounded in the midst of trying to help them. You're drowning trying to help them. You're hurting yourself trying to help them. You were forced to leave. So now it's time for you to surrender to that process and allow God to be God in your life and their lives as well. Because y'all, we're not scot-free. We have some inner work to do on ourselves too. The fact that we stayed that long or the fact that you allowed that to happen, whatever it may be, now it's time for you to reflect and to see how can I show up the next time? How can I be better for me? Even if you don't reconnect with these individuals, when you go back to your next relationship, your next marriage, your next job, you know, when you go back to the family reunion, whatever it may be, how can I show up as a better version of me so that I'm not so affected, so that I'm not so moved, so that I don't stay in places and spaces that I know I have outgrown? It's all about you too, sweetheart. You had to leave. You had to let them go. It wasn't an option and it isn't an option. Let's go to the last one. Lack of communication left you feeling neglected and causing you to assume. Again, y'all, this is a healing video. Just highlighting some of the reasons as to why you had to let go. And to remind some of you too. Because again, you might be fighting yourself going back and forth whether or not you did the right thing. You did. Even if it's temporary, you did. Again, lack of communication left you feeling neglected and causing you to assume. If I have to question you or I have to question your, your motives, I have to question, then listen, sweetheart, that's a problem. That's a whole problem because now I'm forced to come to you and ask you things that you know you should already be communicating to me or otherwise you're leaving me to assume. And y'all already know what they say about assuming. Y'all know the phrase they say about that. 
So listen, sweetheart, stop overextending. Stop trying to make yourself available to people right now that aren't available to you. They can't give you what you need right now. They have to go through their own process and we're not talking about the individuals. We're just highlighting these things so that you can heal, so that you can move forward. Those of you that feel frustrated and angry, listen, I get it. But let me tell you something, sweetheart. I'm telling you right now, do not allow yourself to stay there because even if you say you're done with this past person this past individual you're done with your family members whatever it may be you still need to leave your heart open for something new but if you carry that anger you're also closing out something new for yourself something better for yourself we operate in love y'all we thrive off of love i don't care how silly that sound as a chosen one that's your weapon some of you listen and i'm learning this myself y'all you manifest through love when people get mad or get crazy, the religious people, when you start talking about manifestation, but it's a thing. You manifest through love. That's your weapon. If you continue to stay in that environment, that kind of way of thinking and being, listen, you good. It hurts sometimes. It hurts, yes. But God is going to make sure you good. Regardless, y'all. Because that's who you are. You were chosen because of your heart. Because you have pure intentions for people, that's why you were chosen. He can use you because of your heart. So listen, you were forced to leave these individuals. I feel like it was so much being said, y'all. And I said so much that I don't remember what I said, but I know it's the spirit that's speaking. And I listen, I hope y'all receive it. Whoever needed to hear this, I pray that you received it. Y'all listen, we are healing over here. We're putting our foot on the enemy's neck. And in doing so, sometimes some people, places, things have to be exposed. We have to be removed. We have to let go of some things. And it hurts. It hurts. It hurts, y'all. I get it. It really hurts. It hurts. But please know that's a part of your healing. That's a part of your journey. And you're going to come out on the other side if you just remain solid. If you just surrender to what is, to the now. You can't do anything about the past and the future will take care of itself. Work on the now. Stay present to the now. How can I show up now? What are you teaching me right now, God? What is it? Please know you're not alone. You're not alone. We've been connected in this season for a reason. And that's why I come on here and continue to pour into y'all, continue to love on y'all, continue to let y'all know what it is and what it ain't. So please know I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all again for rocking with me. Thank you for your PayPal's, Cash App, Super Thanks, Thumbs Up, Comments, all of that. Thank y'all so much for doing you, being you, being authentic, being brave enough to even, you know, leave your comments, leave your stories. That's brave. And, and I, y'all, listen, I can't respond to every comment, but I make sure that the trolls and the ignorance is not in the comments because this platform is for us to heal and not be judged about what we've gone through, what we've experienced. People have judged us enough talked about us enough and i refuse to let anybody come over here with the stupidity and the nonsense i can't i can't and i don't care who feel about what what religion you're in that's not my that's not me y'all when i talk to people when i interact with people i see the soul i see the spirit i don't care if you black white blue brown gay bisexual whatever you got going on my goal is to let you know i see you i feel you I know what you're experiencing. I know how the devil operates, and we're not going to allow him to continue to keep us in a space, in a place that we've outgrown, that God is calling us to, you know, come from and come out from amongst whoever. Please know that. I feel like I've been talking for a long time, so let me get off of here. I love y'all so much. Until next time, y'all be easy. Peace.